The big question still remains. Will there ever be true peace and security in the Middle East? Will Jew and Arab ever be able to live and work together with genuine love and respect for each other? Impossible as it may seem, there will be peace. God's word says that he wants to bless all the families on the earth, not just the Jewish people. For God has purpose to bless the nations in and through the Jews. And we mustn't forget the scriptures where God says he is specifically going to bless Ishmael and his descendants, the Arab nations. This prophecy in Genesis chapter 21 has come to pass. The Arabs have indeed become great as mentioned specifically in verse 18. Just look at the amount of land they possess, the tremendous wealth they've accumulated, and just through oil alone. So there is no doubt in my mind that God has fulfilled his promises to the descendants of Ishmael. There is a prophecy in Isaiah chapter 19 verses 23 to 25 that is yet to be fulfilled. And herein lies the solution to true peace in the Middle East, where God says, in that day there will be a highway from Egypt and Assyria. The Egyptians and the Assyrians will worship together. In that day Israel will be a third, along with Egypt and Assyria, a blessing on the earth. The Lord Almighty will bless them, saying, Blessed be Egypt, my people, Assyria, my handiwork, and Israel, my inheritance. This is very reassuring and it's clear to me that it is God's will and purpose to reconcile these two people groups, the Jews and the Arabs. And one day there will be true peace in the Middle East. Moreover, this will affect the entire world, which will usher in the millennial reign of Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. <laughs>